Child rape by police is a deeply disturbing and heinous crime that not only violates the victim, but also breaches the trust placed in law enforcement authorities. Cases involving such crimes can have profound and long-lasting impacts on victims, their families, and communities. These incidents often lead to calls for stringent accountability, reform in police practices, and enhanced measures to protect vulnerable individuals. Our 8 News Now investigators first to report the arrest of a former Metro Police officer, 31-year-old Harvey Velasquez, faces 21 charges for incidents his former employer believes started years ago and involves several girls. He's accused of grooming the children and paying them in exchange for sexual acts. Metro says Velasquez was fired the day of his arrest. Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a deeply troubling and important topic. The 2024 scandal involving police officers caught in a child pornography ring. So how did we get here? It all started with an extensive investigation by federal authorities. Over the past year, they uncovered a network operating across multiple states involving not just civilians, but also individuals sworn to uphold the law. Now, when we think of police officers, we think of protectors, people who put their lives on the line to keep us safe. But in this dark twist, some officers wound on the other side of the line. The investigation revealed that these officers used their positions of power to hide their heinous activities, exploiting the trust placed in them by the community. Why did these officers do it? Well, that's a complex question. Some were driven by personal demons, others by a deep-seated sense of invulnerability, thinking their badges shielded them from justice. This scandal has shaken public confidence and raised serious questions about oversight and accountability within police forces. Authorities have already arrested several officers and more arrests are expected as the investigation continues. The public outcry has been massive, with many demanding thorough reform and stricter screening processes for law enforcement personnel. This is just about punishing the guilty. It's about understanding how such a breach of trust could happen and ensuring it never happens again. It's about protecting the most vulnerable among us and holding accountable those who exploit their power for nefarious purposes. In the wake of this scandal, communities are coming together to demand transparency and justice. It's a painful reminder that vigilance is necessary, even when it comes to those who are supposed to be our protectors. So what can we do? Stay informed, stay involved, and keep pushing for the changes that ensure our police forces are trustworthy and accountable. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, please like and share. And remember, awareness is the first step towards change. Stay safe and stay vigilant.